Special Operations Forces are comprised of soldiers trained to be some of the most lethal and intelligent human weapons on the planet. They're unflinching heroes tasked to execute any objective despite the chaotic curveballs fired their way. Special Forces soldiers can be rescuers, protectors, and when needed, grim reapers with silent precision. They transform into whatever the mission needs them to be to protect our freedom, so every piece of their gear needs to be doomsday ready, especially their last defense knives. A well-designed blade can be a worthy companion and savior for any soldier. Designed specifically for combat, the knives on this list are built to operate in the lowest depths of hell. In our search for the best special forces knives, we considered the design and versatility of each blade, as well as each knife's reliability on the battlefield. We also found the civilian equivalent for most of the special forces knives on this list so you can own some of the finest military steel on the market. Unfortunately, a couple of the blades are too dangerous for mere mortals. Each one of these knives is well suited to be a reliable self-defense or survival tool and is worthy of a place on your belt. Ari Bilila At first glance, the Ari Bilila looks like a beastly blade from a Rambo flick. Well, this knife is definitely a legitimate weapon of war and it's used by the YAMAM, Yehida Merkazet Mayuhidat, the Israeli Counterterrorism Unit. Formed after the 1974 Ma'alo massacre, the YAMAM specializes in hostage rescue operations and takeover raids. Dealing with high-stakes operations all day, it makes sense they need a knife that looks intimidating merely sitting on the table. The finger ring offers maximum security between the hand and the knife, essential in the most critical of counterterrorism and combat tactical offensives. The forefinger and thumb grip between the thumb rise in the finger ring, and this reinforced area is key to the control of the knife. The ring and thumb rise allow tremendous force to be applied to the blade where it is needed. The handle shape is comfortable and extremely secure, with deep quillins, a good belly, and a slope for the heel of the hand that makes the knife an extension of the arm. The blade is made of vanadium niobium stainless steel with jimping on the spine and a G10 fiberglass handle. The Ari Bilila looks like an everyday carry knife for the Predator and, as you might have suspected, has no civilian equivalent. Ontario MK3 While the dagger proved critical to assassinations and close in fighting throughout ancient history, it still served a purpose on the high-tech battlefield of today as the combat knife. The combat knife is the warfighter's last line of defense and can also serve as a personal ally of sorts when attempting to survive apart from his, her squad or forward operating base. For the United States Navy, and the United States Navy SEALs for that matter, the Ontario Mark III Navy Combat Knife fulfills this purpose. The heart and soul of the Mark III is its fixed 6.5-inch blade which is designed to stab, slash and cut. The main edge and clip edge are plain while the spine sports a series of saw-like teeth. The two edges meet at a defined point at the tip of the blade which is capable of easily managing canvas or even leather. The blade is manufactured of 440A stainless steel with a black oxide finish so as to not showcase any glint. The grip handle is well patterned for a sure hold and, like the included sheath, is of a molded high-impact plastic. The handle also sports a flat face for smashing. Glauca B1 Tactical Knife Francis Gigan, National Gendarmerie Intervention Group, is a counterterrorism unit of the French National Gendarmerie established in 1974 after the tragic Munich massacre. They're mentally and physically equipped to handle hostage rescue, protection of government officials, and national threats. They've rescued over 600 hostages and are known to be one of the most efficient counterterrorism units around. To maximize penetration during use, a special blade tip has been developed. On the back side of the handle the Extrema Ratio Glauca B1 has a special tool to cut plastic handcuffs. The Glauca B1 features a glass breaker, on the end of the pommel, a reversible clip and a safety lock that can be operated with the thumb of the right hand. The sheath has a hard abs polymer structure on a Cordura base and offers several possible ways of fixing. Mall system for tactical jackets and ballistic armor, belt fixing, and low leg side fixing. The sheath is built to be used with an open blade knife. The Extrema Ratio Glauca B1 weighs 197 grams, has a 115 mm blade with an overall length, opened, of 268 mm. 
The partially serrated blade is made of N690 steel, with a mil C-13924 finish, and is 5mm thick. The handle is made of anodized aluminum alloy. SOG SEAL TEAM ELITE The SOG knife was used by the best of the best in Vietnam War, and it earned a reputation as a great fighting knife. Years later, an improved version was created by Spencer and Gloria Fraser, who called their company SOG Specialty Knives. The SOG SEAL Team Elite Knife is an updated version of the original SEAL knife. It went through an extensive and intense evaluation program by the US government and passed with flying colors. Many Navy SEALs looking for a blade alternative turn to this sharp piece of equipment to use as a field companion. The Team Elite knife is constructed with a US-8 steel in a glass-reinforced nylon handle. And, the blade has both straight and serrated edges for versatile functionality. Like its predecessor, it's also powder-coated for improved durability and rust resistance. Sheffield Fairburn Sykes Dagger Founded in 1941, the British Special Air Service, SAS, has exercised their versatility by taking on missions dealing with counterterrorism, covert reconnaissance, hostage rescue, and direct action. Many of the SAS actions and operations are highly classified, but at least we know what knife they use. Probably the most elegant blade on this list, the Sheffield Fairburn Sykes British Commando Dagger started its tour of duty in World War II. Birthed from the minds of William Ewart Fairburn and Eric Anthony Sykes, this slender blade was designed specifically for surprise attacks in close-quarter combat, with a slender blade that can easily penetrate a ribcage. The double-edged blade with a vase handle can easily slip between the ribs for critical damage. It is essential that the blade have a sharp stabbing point and good cutting edges, because an artery torn through tends to contract and stop the bleeding. If a main artery is cleanly severed, the wounded man will quickly lose consciousness and die. The vase handle grants precise grip, and the blade's design is especially suited to its use as a fighting knife. It also has a well-balanced design, fitting properly in your hand without feeling heavy while in action, making it one of the best combat knives on the field. Emerson Combat Karambit Joint Task Force 2 is a Canadian elite operations force considered to be one of the best special forces units on Earth. They are molded to specialize in hostage rescue, foreign internal defense, and direct action, carrying out many counter-terrorism missions. The Karambit knife from Menangkabau, Indonesia with a curved raptor claw silhouette is their blade of choice. The Karambit is held with the blade pointing downward from the bottom of the fist, usually curving forwards. While it is primarily used in a slashing or hooking motion, Karambit with a finger ring are also used in a punching motion hitting the opponent with the finger ring. When it comes to combat, the Karambit has characteristics that are not found in other knife designs. Its unique grip and claw-like blade enable you to use it with simple punching motions, and the finger ring permits you to grab an object or an opponent's limb while still holding the knife. You can also use it to execute a myriad of devastating takedowns that will disable your opponent as he falls, thus opening a new range of combat that might be termed, knife grappling. Some Karambit are designed to be used in a hammering motion. This flexibility of striking methods is what makes it useful in self-defense situations. The finger guard makes it difficult to disarm and allows the knife to be maneuvered in the fingers without losing one's grip. There are plenty of Karambit designers out there but Emerson's Combat Flipper Karambit is one of the better models. It has a 154cm single-edged blade and AG-10 handle all finished in black. Gerber Mark II Designed by retired U.S. Army Captain Bud Holzman, the timeless Gerber Mark II fighting knife was based on the Mainz Gladius, a famous ancient Roman sword. The blade first saw action in the Vietnam War and was used by many soldiers, including U.S. Special Forces. It was actually deemed too savage and was discontinued in the 70s until Gerber designer Al Mar added sawtooth serrations toward the hilt to reimagine it as a survival tool instead of a fighting knife. It gained more popularity in 1981 thanks to the cult classic film The Road Warrior, the popular sequel to Mad Max. With a sturdy ankle and a blade designed to pierce, this knife can do quite a bit of damage in close-quarter combat. The classic features remain applicable on today's battlefield, 
the double serrated blade for maximum piercing capabilities, the exaggerated bolster for confident grip. The black oxide coated 420HC double serrated blade with a die cast aluminum handle is still being sold by Gerber today.